I need to make a confession to you guys. Um, I can't see very well. I have uh, bad eyes. My eyes are very dumb. Uh, I might as well have two feet where my eyes are. That's how useful my eyes are. I actually went to the optometrist and he sat me down and he put the thing in front of my face. I don't know what it's called, but it's the thing from the Justin Timberlake album where he like put it in front of and then, and then he was like, better, worse, better, worse. I was like, oh, it's all bad. Yeah, he, and he was like, better, worse. I was like, can't you just tell me? He's like, I can't tell you I don't have your eyes. Just try better, worse. I was like, none of it's good. And then he put his hands on his knees and exhaled, walked out, and then his nurse walked in and said he rescheduled, and he never did. So my optometrist ghosted me. So my eyes are still very bad. I tell that story because I was getting a smoothie. I was getting a smoothie at a Julius Caesar. It's a smoothie place. Actually, you know what? It's, it's not Julius, it's Orange Julius. <laughs> but I couldn't see the sign well until very recently someone told me it wasn't Julius Caesar. <laughs> Either way, I was there, right? I was there and I, they put the, the name of the smoothie in big letters and they put all the ingredients in little letters. So then I was leaning forward on the counter as far as I could. My stomach was on the counter. I was leaning just to see what was in one of the smoothies that I might like, right? So then the, the cashier, she's turned around, she's bent over, she's doing something with supplies. So I'm leaning over the counter as much as I can. But then she stands up, she turns around and we're nose to nose. <laughs> And then she limboed on me. She leaned back as far as she could. And I wanted to explain to her, ma'am, I wasn't trying to kiss you, all right? I have very bad eyes. I actually went to the optometrist. He put the thing in front of my face. I don't know what it's called, but it's the thing from the Justin Timberlake album. <laughs> but I didn't want to explain all that. So I was just like, I don't love you, and walked away. <laughs> <laughs> this is very embarrassing to admit, but... Um, when I was a kid, all the way up until like young adulthood, I thought that I could see the future. And then I realized I just had common sense. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like I'll give you my best example. Um, I had a friend from Chicago call me and he told me he got his girlfriend pregnant by accident. And I was like, oh, dude, I knew you were gonna do that three years ago. And he was like, how? How is that possible? I've only known her for a year. And I was like, oh, bro, I knew you were gonna do that when I saw you walking around with no case on your phone. Like, <laughs> I knew you weren't thinking ahead. You weren't taking precautions. You were living reckless, you know? <laughs> you don't have a case on your phone. Of course you're not wrapping it up. Come on, just walking around loose phone all day. <laughs> I've also been thinking a lot about the concept of karma. Because we misuse the term karma, you know? Like, um, I was in Chicago, and I was, I was in the South Side, like the hundreds, and I got robbed. And then I saw the guy that robbed me get robbed one block down. <laughs> that's amazing, but that's not karma. <laughs> yeah. I knew a kid in school. I knew a kid in school that um, his favorite pastime was just making fun of fat people. That's all he did, all the time, nonstop. It was like he did it even in front of people. It was to the point where I couldn't hang out with him anymore. You know? And obviously this thing is coming from like an insecurity that he had. So then he got a little bit older, he started working out and everything to the point where he got yoked, like prison ripped, you know what I mean? <laughs> like just terrifying, right? And he got so ripped top to bottom, but in the middle section, he had three abs. <laughs> How? Like they're supposed to come in a pack of six. You're three light. That's hilarious, but that's not karma. <laughs> karma is about what you did in a past life and you know, how you handle it in the next life and burning off your karma has a lot to do with reincarnation and coming back, having many lives and, and and many forms, you know? Because I, I had a situation with this guy. Um, this guy, I was hanging out with my friends and he bumped into me really hard. 
And uh, it was just a point where I said something. I was like, hey, calm down. There's no fire or anything, you know? And then he got in my face and he wanted to fight me. And it was wild. I was just like, this is, I don't want to fight anybody. It's just you bumped into me, you didn't say anything, you know? And he's nose to nose with me. And he's like, why don't you just, why don't you just go eat some chicken or something? <laughs> Which, like, that's a weird one. You know what I mean? Like, that's about as awkward as it is racist. You know what I mean? Like, it was to the point where I felt bad for her. I was like, do you want to try one more time? Or like, like, it actually makes me confident that he's not a racist. A racist would know what to do in this situation. <laughs> you know? But I've been thinking, if karma's real, and reincarnation is real, and you are a racist, then I hope that you die. <laughs> I hope that you die and you're reincarnated as a chicken. I feel like it's the only way to fix this racism. Because yes, you'll be racist, you'll die, you'll come back as a chicken, I will fry you. I will fry you personally, okay? You'll be delicious. I'll tear meat from bone. And it's not just chicken, honestly. It's like all the poultry can get it. Every lamb bird, you know? All of them. Roosters are the most racist. We never talk about it, but they are. You know, roosters wake up racist. Every day they wake up, they see the sun before us, and they're like, nit, 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 That's every day. And we act like we don't hear it, but it's right there. Every time I hear them, nit, 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 you Confederate bastard. You're gonna get your death. 